After an intense fight in hell alongside his companion Angela, Spawn eventually slipped back to Earth in the state of Alabama. In order to return to his kingdom in the alleyways of the Bowery, he chooses to walk to his home in New York rather than teleport, all in an effort to safeguard his necroplasm, which if depleted, would permanently make him a resident of hell and Malabolge's puppet. After being cared for by two siblings that live in an abusive household and has shown his gratitude the best way he knows, Spawn continues his journey back home. Unfortunately, he crosses paths with speeding trucks filled with members of the Ku Klux Klan. These individuals set fire to the home of Brad Armstrong, an African-American. When Spawn offers assistance, his masked appearance raises suspicion. However, once he reveals his badly burned visage and shares his story, they lower their guard and show him compassion. Later on, Spawn lays a trap that caused the Klansman's truck to crash, but as he approaches to finish them off, he was immediately shot in the head, resulting in his supposed death and hanging from a tree as the members make their getaway. The following day, Brad discovers Spawn hanging from the tree, and two of the members confront him, urging him to lower his weapon. Suddenly, Spawn revives and incapacitates them. Later, Brad seeks justice against these men through the legal system, but the judge dismisses the case due to a lack of evidence. Spawn uncovers that the judge is not only a member, but is in fact the head of these lunatics. In a secret meeting in a basement, the judge collaborates with his fellow clansmen as they plan to burn down Brad's house that very night. The judge volunteers to enter the house first, with the others following ten minutes later. That night, Spawn lays a clever trap. He confronts the judge and transforms him into a black man using necroplasm. When the other clansmen arrive and find a black man dressed in their outfit, they brutally seize him and hang him from a tree without a second thought. Spawn assures Brad that he has dealt with the judge and his cronies, and he won't be bothered by them anymore. With that, Spawn continues his journey back home. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this narration, don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting comic book adventures.